because tomorrow is weekend. For those who will be working on weekend, we'll holler to you. Oh dear. <laughs> that did it. Yes. You said I'm wearing blue because I'm a Chelsea. I said you want to switch. No. You want to switch no, to Chelsea. No, no, no. You are just pushing me and I'll go naked in the studio right now. Oh, please. Because I beg you. No, I have no slightest <laughs> intention at all. That did not, was not even part of the reason I put on this, this okay. dress. It has nothing to do with Chelsea. I you see how blue compliments? No. How can you wear red with this one? You, it will not even fly. Oh, Friday. I'll you'll be arrested on your way. You'll be arrested on your way. I think I should be wearing wearing red all the you, time you'll be arrested on your way to red, <laughs> red and white <laughs> <laughs> and yesterday guess what uh -huh. you know the european games are ongoing yes um, tuesday and wednesday <laughs> the champions league uh teams uh -huh. even we have a team like breast playing the champions league. let's say team like that okay breast, b r e s t okay playing the champions league wow. and then even mean uh, six one out of two games wow and we are looking for clubs in the europa league and then and we are having the Manchester United yesterday, and they were even lucky because uh, with <laughs> ten men they had uh, two, uh, three, three. And guess what? Mm -hmm. Europa, uh, <laughs> UEFA third tier league, Europa Conference League. Mm -hmm. And guess who, who the class prefer to wear? Chelsea. Uh -huh. And when people are busy, United fans are watching Europa League. At least there's so much respect for that competition. <laughs> they are also competing to watch switch, switch, switch. Ah, come on, Chelsea fans. That's why you should be. Sitting down, watching those people, uh, United and Co. play. Then after, then you ask, what is the result of the Chelsea mm. game? I think that is fair. Well, but they also the, I decided not to watch the game at home. Mm. So you I know? watch with the, uh, friends, some friends out there. Yeah. And the Chelsea fans, sweet, sweet, we want to watch Chelsea. We want to just say, oh, Chelsea fans. Oh. Even the conference league that they are playing, they have to go and play playoff. Can you imagine? Now, the team that they are playing, we don't even know their names. Wow. Yes, we don't know their names. Mm. And Chelsea fans are out there. Look at your classmate. Look at your classmate. People are competing with PSG, mm -hmm. uh, Juventus, oh. Barcelona, Real Madrid. Oh. And you are playing teams like United, FC20. You are playing teams. Oh. It it's, is a, well. it's a sad Time story. It's a, it's a sad story. Mm. It's a sad this thing. Yeah. Sad <laughs> United fans, Chelsea fans, good morning. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you are, <laughs> you are <laughs> you are who, who has I think is one of the. the, the, the uh, support of that. You might Chelsea or my you? Okay. Ah, you okay. Say, it's it's understandable fan. now. So they are classmates. Chelsea and my you, they are now classmates. So when they are having conversation, those who are playing the champions, we sit down and look, listen to them. When they finish talking, are you done? So when they try to come at our level, we say, wait, when you get there, we'll invite you. can you. talk to yes, us. Yes, yes. You are not at our level yet. No, no, not yet. Let, let's talk about what has been happening <laughs> in so, relation to the legal yes, world. Around the court, yes, yesterday the Association of Magistrates and Judges ended their two-day conference. In fact, it is to prepare the way for the new legal year. And yesterday we've been telling you about some of the talking points. The Chief Justice made a point about uh, Galamse. The Attorney General also spoke. The issue of the protesters also came to the fore. And the judges, one of the things that also came to the fore is the issue of security. You go to the court and they are, they are saying that security around the court and out of the court for them, it's not the best. So they are calling for an improved one, of course, where you, have, you see them with police escort after they bring them to court, take them to their home, and then they leave them. So okay. what next after? They believe that uh, an improved security will help them, especially also so because when you go to the court, it is a free and uh, open place for everybody. Anybody at all can enter the court. They are saying that, look, that cannot happen because elsewhere, you don't know who is holding what to come to the court. Yeah. Right. Let's listen to the president of the Association of Magistrate, Magistrates and Judges, Justice Henry Anthony Kofi, on that subject. We have also added the issue of security of judges because basically we have no security. We have policemen, all right. But they go with us in the morning to the court, bring you to your house if you are lucky, and then they go. I don't know whether we call that security. This is the only country I know where people enter courtrooms, especially the, even the Supreme Court, the Court of Appeal, the High Court. I have been to several places. You don't, we were in Rwanda recently, even, it's, it's even strange. Somebody will say that Rwanda is a different thing, fine. But we were in Uganda 20 years ago. We were in a delegation to Uganda, Tanzania. 
Unfortunately, the leadership, the chief justice, was on that delegation. You could not, 20 years ago, 2004, you couldn't enter any court in Uganda or Tanzania without going through some form of security scanner. Here, the courts are sitting, people just walk in and out. You never know what is somebody is holding. I was just reading something on the Supreme Court platform yesterday about even the U.S., they are looking at the contentious, probably, election that they are expecting. And they have started looking at the security of judges. We are not even talking about election. We are talking about everyday events that happen in the courts. And we think that the issue of our welfare and our security ought to be taken seriously. Because as I said, unlike other people, unfortunately, we cannot. It will be an aberration for a judge to say you are withdrawing yourself. It is, it is unheard of. But that is no reason for saying that our concerns should be taken for granted. And we pray, my ladyship, that these events, these issues will be taken seriously so that judges at least will, will have some, some, some uh, what do you call, relief. So that is the president of the Association of Magistrates and Judges, Justice Henry Anthony Kofi. He's also a justice of the Supreme Court making a point about the security of judges and magistrates. But her lady, the Chief Justice, Justice Gertrude Saki Taukonu, also has this point to take. This is a judiciary and judicial service effective outcome. A discussion of the welfare and security of judges and magistrates must not be done without an equal consideration of the security and welfare of staff and court users. The theme chosen for this year's work by the judicial service itself is building the pillars of justice with leadership, innovation, and technology. It invites the justice sector, led by the chief justice, the judicial council, and the judiciary, to consider how we can effectively discharge our constitutional mandate with accelerated deployment of leadership attributes and innovation. So that is the Lady Chief Justice, Justice Gertrude Araba Esaba Saki Tokunu, making the point there. An enhanced uh, environment will also help the staff do their work the way they are supposed to do. So those are some of the things that took place at the Association of Magistrates and Judges Forum or Conference this week. It ended yesterday, and guess what? On Sunday, uh, I said Sunday, tomorrow, there will be a special church service then to usher in the new legal year, absolutely. So to watch out for more in relation to that. Okay, okay. And then we can uh, focus on Democracy Hub. Yes, Democracy there Hub. Is so a suit. There's, there's, there's an, there's an update, and the update in relation to human rights action. And so Psalm 32, including Oliver Baker, former war, um, Elom, Abibio, I'm a governor, uh, Felicity Nelson, Ralph Afo Williams, all of them, and some others, through their lawyer, uh, Francis Xavier Susu has filed a human rights action at the Human Rights Court. And in fact, what they are seeking is a human rights violation against the police, the Inspector General of Police, and the Attorney General, Attorney General because the AG is the principal legal advisor of the Republic of Ghana. And they are asking for seven reliefs, and I'm going to mention only two of them here this morning and so one of the things that they said was that they are asking for a declaration that uh, the respondent have violated applicants the applicants here are the 32 uh, persons right to liberty and security of their person and freedom from unlawful and arbitrary arrest and detention enshrined in article 14 of the 1992 constitution article 9 of the universal declaration of human rights Article 9 of the International Conven Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, Principles 2 and 11 of the Body of Principles for Protection of All Persons Under Any Form of Detention or Imprisonment, and Article 6 of the African Charter on Human Rights and People's Rights. So this is one of the declarations that they are seeking. And of course, an order, the last relief that they are seeking is an order directed the respondent. The respondent here is uh, IGP 
and the attorney general to pay to the applicant compensation for unlawful and unwarranted breach of the applicant's fundamental human rights. So these are some of the things that the latest court action is seeking or is asking the court to do for them. So ahead of Monday, and this very case will come up again on 28th of October. Okay. Yes, All right. yes, yes. And yes. Um, there's, there's something you'll be uh, um, attending yes, yes, to. Yes, yes, yes. Something is happening today. You'll be attending so, to today. Yes. Well, a moment. Okay, so I'm sure you're wondering why I'm playing this song at this time of the day. There is a, there is a method to the madness, please. <laughs> <laughs> so what is going to be happening later this morning? Charlie, as we speak, mm -hmm. over 40, hey, did I say 40? Over yeah. 250 sacks of ganja hey. currently at the circuit court. When you say ganja track. in this situation, are you talking about Indian hemp? Yes. Um, the leaves. Cannabis. Yes. Uh, okay. Weed. Okay. Yes, weed. They are going to. It's going to be subjected to destruction. Destruction. You know and how will they destroy it? So they will take it to a site, uh, pour a petrol on it, okay. and then set fire in it. Remember that in August, one happened in August. Yes, this August. Where, did the, it, where was it burnt in August? It was behind the Independence Square around the oh, beach Osu, near it? the uh, Osu Castle. <laughs> and I understand that. The 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 the, 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 the high ray there, level. I'm telling you, the community Are you suffered high ray? a lot. Um, so involuntary high ray. Absolutely. Oh, but that's nobody gave it to you. You're just walking and then you are inhaling. Oh, in there. that's so. so sad. Uh, the environmental protection agency had advised against that. So mm. now they have taken it uh, out of 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 the. Uh, the vicinity, the absolutely, area. Yeah. Absolutely. And today it's going to be done at Gundasi uh, military base. Okay. Just around near them, a new town that area. Oh, okay. So that there are no I mean, around that side, there, there isn't a community. Is that it's far from 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 the town. So okay. The community. So that place is much more safer. So okay. as we speak, and these are substances that the court has uh, confiscated. Police arrested person brought to court, and they said uh, those who were found guilty or convicted for mm -hmm. possessing them or owning them, and then they have seized them. So the court made orders that those substances should be destroyed. So that's how come we are having them. Remember in August, over 142 sacks were destroyed. Mm. Today is more than what was uh, burnt in August. In August. So, absolutely. So but that is what is happening as we speak. All that is being with uh, the uh, registrar of the court is waiting for the police uh, arrival. Mm. Then the team will dispatch move, uh, immediately mm. after. I'm just joining the team. Okay. Then we, we head to the base. Do you wear protective clothing? Yes. When you are going, you have to just okay. so uh, you, you make sure you don't because can't I, can't, I don't know how. Absolutely. The 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 good thing at the last one was that mm -hmm. it, because it was at the beach, it was uh, the the whole um, the smoke or the out the the yeah. flames yeah. or the direction of the wind changed so it makes it difficult for us to even come direct contact okay. with it so okay. where it, i don't know how the wind situation is so but we're being advised to put on protective clothing just so when you you are having us contact or it's coming closer to you okay. to be able to protect yourself so mm. that is what is going to be happening for which reason you gave us that uh song who played that this um Marlon Asha. Marlon Asha. Marlon okay. Asha. Okay. <laughs> so that's what it is. So in midday and then our subsequent bulletins will bring we'll it bring the abyss. But Absolutely. is, we'll is burning the only solution? Is that is that the only option available to um, the police and the courts to as a form of destruction? Is it only burning? So uh, one of the things that came out from the first one that happened in August was that why can't they convert it to another another thing so Absolutely. that we save money. Because there's a lot of money going down the drain. But my understanding is that the efficacy level of what is needed to 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 be converted in something or this thing, this one is much more higher. 
Okay. So you can't use it for that purpose, for okay. which reason the only available uh, option is to subject it to discretion. So that is the explanation that has been given as uh, the efficacy level is higher than what is required for it to be used for some useful activities. All right. Thank you very much, Mutala Inusa, our legal affairs correspondent. We'll be waiting for the updates in relation to the destruction. Mutala, when you go, please ask them. About the burning. There should be an alternative. It cannot be only burning. There should be something that when it's poured on it, it just dilutes. And that's not burn. Eh? Hey, you go and dispose it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is still the morning, sir, here on Star 103.5 FM.